Welcome to Best Fountain Pen. Of all the four pens that Zizo brand sent me, this one that I'm about to show you is by far my favorite finish. Um, definitely a beautiful fountain pen that we're about to review today. So I hope you like it as much as I do. Let me show you the pen, then I'll show you the box because the pen is far more important than the box. But um, let me just rub the fingerprints off of it real quick so that hopefully you get the same reaction that I did. All right, so here it comes. This is dun, 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 the Maestro. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? This is black mother of pearl. At least these facets over here are black mother of pearl um, that are affixed to the body of this fountain pen. And I really like how they coupled it with the iridescent sort of mirror finish, dark steel gray black um, on the cap itself. Now, I, I'm not usually a fan of gold, um, kind of gold-plated metal on pens. And I know that I'm not a traditionalist when it comes to fountain pens because a lot of people really like the gold furniture and gold decorations all over the pen. It's not typically my thing, but I will tell you on this specific pen, I like it. And the reason I like it is because there is some gold in the Black Mother of Pearl. Do you see that? There's kind of gold tones within the Mother of Pearl, so I think it complements just very well and brings out, just if I kind of do it against my black shirt, you can see it a little better. It just kind of brings out that finish even better. It's kind of a tobacco color almost. It's just beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. I haven't seen Black Mother of Pearl in person before, so this was my first go around, but I really just adore this finish. So anyway, back to the pen. Um, it does, let me show you what it comes in. So it does come with this Zizo box, like all the other pens that I've received from them. Bifold doors open up. Very nice sort of gift box if you're buying this as a gift. The pen they sent me came with a cleaning cloth, which I've said in a couple other videos. I really think that's a classy touch, especially on the pen that's over $100. I think it's great branding. You can put your brand on it. But because this finish that I just kind of rubbed the fingerprints off of, because that mirror finish on the cap itself tends to show fingerprints and kind of mars a little bit with the oil from your hands, it's just really nice to have a cleaning cloth. I thought that was a very classy touch. And then also came with a um, two pen uh, pen holder with kind of a felt lined or a little, yeah, felt or feels like a little soft fake velvet. I really like that and holds two kind of big fountain pens and has the Zizo brand on it and then says it's, it was established in 2001, which is when the brand was founded. And then on the back there, it's just Zizo.com. I really think that's a great touch too because these um, pens have such beautiful finishes that they make. I mean, some of the most beautiful on the market that I've seen uh, so far. And so you don't want to carry that around just in the bottom of your bag like I tend to just because it'll beat up and kind of mar the finish. And so having a pen holder that comes with it, at least for now, I don't know if they're going to eliminate that in the future, but at least for right now that comes with the pen holder and I think that's a great addition to save the finish on these beautiful pens. So again, this one is the Seashell Black Mother of Pearl. Um, like all of their pens that I was shipped for review on loan and I'm going to be having to send this back unfortunately, but it is gorgeous. Um, it comes with four cartridges and a converter, so you get both. You don't have to pay extra for the converter, which I think is great, a nice, great touch. This is the heaviest pen of the four that they've sent me. Now, I'll try to line these up. I'm gonna be careful not to drop anything. Um, so for size kind of comparison as well, and then some finish comparison. Uh, it's gonna be hard to show you all that on camera. So let me kind of turn the clips out so you can see the decorations and give you kind of a once over. So we have um, several different fountain pens. These two on both ends are both the Maestro series, um, but they have a different finish. So you can see this is the Black Mother of Pearl finish and this is the Abalone or Natural Seashell. Both very gorgeous finishes. So this one's obviously very attention getting and bam, like right in your face and with that um, gold finishing touches and very wide cat band. It's a, and it's, it's definitely an attention getting pen. People are going to know that's an expensive pen. Obviously this one also looks very expensive, but it's a little more understated in its finish, but still as rich and gorgeous as anything I've ever seen. And then you've got the architect and, um, the architect and the incognito. So this um, purple one right here is the Incognito, and this blue one, Azure Blue, is the Architect fountain pen, so it's a little wider. So, but of all of them, this one, the Maestro, 
with the black mother of pearl most definitely has the um, heaviest feel to it. They're all brass bodied fountain pens, so they're going to be heavier than your average fountain pen, which might um, consist of plastic or different materials or maybe a lighter weight alloy, but the brass itself is just very heavy. Um, the, only, the only thing that I'm really not a super big fan of on this pen specifically, because I love, love, love that finish, one of my favorites ever I've ever seen in my life, don't love the clip. I feel like the clip might be a little bit overdone for my taste. It just looks like kind of a horn on there, like, like an animal horn. Um, but that's just me. I mean, everybody has different tastes. It's just very pronounced and very large. And to me, it detracts from this gorgeous finish. I would have preferred something a little lower profile and uh, more understated to just draw your eye to that gorgeous black mother of pearl finish. It's kind of a like a nicotine brown with some grays. And obviously that's gonna change based on the fact that it's a natural product that they have to um, affix to the pen so they're not man-made. So the finish is gonna be different on each one. So anyway, not a huge fan of that clip. It does move, it, it you know, it's useful. You can use it, um, not necessarily spring-loaded. It's very stiff, but you can use it. It does get fingerprints. So just from me holding it right now, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera. The cap does get fingerprints, so let me just take care of that <laughs> real quick and pull it back on camera. So you can see it has gold, 18 karat gold plating on everything and a little Greek key, um, the Greek key on the cap band. And it's also on the other side of the body, so um, the both sides are aligned with this Greek key. There's a um, section threads here or threads on the back of the blind cap so that you can post your cap on the back if you'd like. So let's do that. And then, before I show you the nib, I know you're waiting, I know you're waiting, but be patient. Um, it says Zizo Maestro 18 karat gold plated, and what does it say here? Um, number 113, so 113. These are, by the way, limited edition fountain pens. He makes them in sets of 500. So this is 113 out of 500 in the series. So we're going to go ahead and screw that cap on. Now, I am not going to lie, this is a little heavy with that cap on the back. So definitely a little heavy. Now, um, when you first see the nib, I was a little bit surprised. I feel like it's slightly undersized for this big, bulky, heavy pen. I would have liked to have seen this nib. See that monster beast? I would have liked to have seen that big, larger nib on it. But that kind of goes back to the more understated feel of this pen specifically. It doesn't affect the writing at all. Just from a design standpoint, I love large nibs. I just think they, just, I mean, if you're gonna use a fountain pen, you want something kind of attention getting or eye catching, but I just like a large nib. I think it draws your attention to the fact that it's a fountain pen and not a ballpoint. But it's still a beautiful nib. These are all German made nibs. It's just a little bit, to me, undersized for the width and body of the pen. I think it could go with a little bit larger pen, or sorry, a little bit larger nib. But what I love about this one is the section. Nice, wide, long section. So your fingers have a place to sit without having to sit on any section thread. So the section threads are all behind your fingers. You got a lot of area to play with and it just posts very well. So um, in terms of, well, you can hold it very well. I specifically wouldn't leave it posted for very long. This is very heavy and that cap wants, does wanna pull off the back. So um, if you're not a poster, obviously just leave the cap off. It won't bother you at all. If you are, I'm gonna tell you, you might not like this pen for very long writing sessions just because the cap does um, wanna pull out just from sheer weight. But again, look at that body. Who wouldn't want that? Like that's something you could easily just set the cap off to the side and continue writing because who wouldn't want that finish on their fountain pen? Oh, it's just luscious. Anyway, love, love, love this pen. One of my favorites from Zizo. So we're going to take a look at the writing sample next, but I just can't get enough of that black mother pearl facet. And what's cool, and I don't know if you can tell, is it looks faceted. You can see the facets, can't feel it. They put so much of a finish on it that it's all perfectly smooth and round. Um, and it looks very bulbous, but that's a kind of a trick of your eye. It very gradually, kind of very gradually widens, but not nothing like what it looks like because you're looking into the finish, you're not looking at the finish. So anyway, gorgeous, can't say enough about that finish. Let's take a look at a writing sample from this Black Mother of Pearl 
Maestro. This is the Zizo Maestro seashell fountain pen. It's a black mother of pearl, actually, fountain pen. And we're going to do a writing sample of this one. So this nib is a medium. I'm going to set the cap off. Oh, let me try not to destroy the cap. Set it off to the side here while we do our writing sample. Well, there you have it. The Black Mother of Pearl Maestro Fountain Pen writing sample in the fine nib. You can also check out other images on my website of uh, kind of lining up the fine against the medium at bestfountainpen.com. And I do have a link below in the descriptions to this exact review so you can see close-up photos and also those writing samples.